Hi there, and thanks for joining me for this tutorial of Cairo Up and how to get started and using it in your clinic today. A couple of things to note before we get started. You can refer to the timestamps and know if you want to take a look at one uh, particular component, you can go ahead and flip to that time and just watch that. Um, also, I would encourage you to go ahead and have Cairo Up in a separate window. That way, if you want to stop the video, try what I'm showing you out on your own and then come back and finish watching the video. That's a really good way to learn it. Um, it's not going to take long. You're going to be surprised at how easy it is to get implemented. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now I'm on your dashboard in Cairo Up. Um, these stats that you'll find on your dashboard are all automatically populated for you. They're based on that 30-day survey that automatically goes out to your patients. We'll talk about that more in a few minutes. If you ever wanna take a look and see how you, can, how you can improve the numbers that you see in that box, just click on those little boost tabs right there. It'll give you a little game plan of things that you can do to improve that number. You don't have to do them, but they're there for your benefit. Uh, next, your initial and release reports. Those have to do with those, exactly what they say. The initial and release reports that you can create uh, while you're doing those condition reports, we'll talk about those, but that'll help you keep track of how many of those you are uh, creating each month so you can see where you're getting those referrals from. And then finally, uh, Google reviews are going to help you to automate those. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. You can link your Facebook so that you're able to see any recent likes on your Facebook. Um, the blog is always right here on your dashboard where you can um, access that. Each week we put out a very informative blog. You'll get it in your email, but you can also access it there on your dashboard. And then our research reviews. So as you know, Cairo Up helps you to stay on top of all of the latest protocols. Here's where you can find some recent articles that we think you'll find in interesting. Um, if you can't, if you see one maybe one day you don't have time to take a look at it and you want to come back to it, you can always click on read more. You can also click um, where you read more and then you can be able to do a little search so that if there was an article that you remember seeing maybe about runners, you can search for runners and be able to find that research that we put in there for you every day. Just another added benefit of Cairo Up. Um, Okay, so next we're going to start in clinical skills. So in clinical skills and then under condition reference is where you're going to find the latest protocols for all of the conditions that we have listed in Cairo Up. They're listed alphabetically. You can always do a search by name or by region and look for a particular condition if that's what you need to do. Um, but what I do want to mention about these conditions is they will have the most up-to-date protocols that you're looking for. It's based on the latest research. What's nice about Cairo Up is that we don't just drop those conditions into um, the clinical skills section, but we keep them up to date for you as well so that you can be sure that anytime that you click on any of these conditions, you've got the most up to date information. We have an awesome team of researchers who are always combing that latest research and making sure that all of the information is up to date. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these conditions and what they look like. What you're going to get is, for your benefit, um, the best evaluation tests, the best soft tissue management, the best exercises that are currently recommended for that condition. You can go ahead and click on any of these to watch that video right there in the screen. Um, underneath all of the videos is all of the research. You can click per subcategory, or you can click on expand all to view the entire article. Some of these are quite lengthy, um, so that's why we have them all referenced for you so that if you just want to take a look and see where we got that information from, they're in references. But also because they're lengthy, we have the clinical pearl compiled for you down at the bottom. So the clinical pearls are the highlights from that article. If you just want to jump in and take a look there, you can. And then also if there's a billable diagnosis code, you'll find that ICD-10 code down at the bottom. Okay, so now that's for your benefit, for the providers, but how do we get this into the hands for your patients? I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to do that. We can help train you, so, or to help train your staff, um, anybody else who's going to be doing those condition reports so that it really gets streamlined in your office. But like I said, today I wanna to show you the quickest and easiest way. So right up here at the top of any page that you're in Cairo Up, you'll see this search patients bar. We're gonna go ahead and do a search for a patient. If they're already in your database, great. They'll pop up, you can click on the patient's name. If not, you want to do a search, let's come up with a name really quick. We're going to use um, sample 
and you'll probably see, see some of our sample patients. Um, like I said, if they're already in there, you can go ahead and click on the name. If not, you can click right here on Add New Patient. And we'll use Rebecca. And we want to put in an email address for Rebecca. You'll notice here on this page, there are quite a few things that you can do um, with the demographics. Let me note first, if, you're all, if you are a provider and you're logged in as the provider, your name will automatically populate right here. If you're a staff member and you're creating that report for one of the providers, you'll have to choose which one you're creating that report for. And then you can do several other things. You can request some information from the patient. You can send out disability questionnaires to them um, if you would like to. But for now, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to create that patient. And now we're ready to send out a report. So I'm going to click right here on Create Report. And then we will be able to choose from the region of pain, the name of the condition, and from here, everything is going to pre-populate. So all of those protocols that I showed you in, in the condition references, those are going to go ahead and pre-populate for you according to all of that research, the best exercises that are recommended. Um, you can change any of this. I'm going to show you how to customize it in just a minute, but I do want to show you how quickly and easily you create that report. Only thing I'm going to do before I show that to you is I am going to choose a healthcare provider out of our database. And then that's going to allow us to be able to create that initial report. I'm going to click here on Save. And then we're going to choose what we want to do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and print it just for now so that we can take a look at that report. We'll come back later. We'll talk about um, some other things that you can do when you do save that report. So the first thing that you're going to see is going to be your letter for your healthcare provider. So it's just a nice short letter. It has your logo here at the top and then just a nice diagnosis, treatment plan, and any goals that you have for the patient, along with your clinic information down here at the bottom. Next is that report that we created for the patient. So this will actually be what the patient sees. Your logo here at the top, then a nice short explanation. It's written in a sixth grade lay language, really easy for them to understand. Uh, their treatments that they would expect to receive in office, goals and outcome measures, ADLs, and then finally their exercises. So let me show you how these exercises work. If this gets printed or emailed for the patient, they'll get a thumbnail with the instructions on how to do those exercises. However, the patient can also download that HealthCom app. Um, they can navigate to this website if they want to. They can download the HealthCom app. If they're in their email, this is actually a hyperlink that they can click on to view those videos. So I went ahead and I clicked on that hyperlink. The first thing that we're going to do is create our own personal password. Each patient will be asked to do this. Then we're going to click on login. And remember, this is the patient side. The very first time that your patient goes to login, they'll have to agree to the terms of use. And then they'll be logged into their HealthCom and they have their own personal plan of those exercises that you've sent them to do to help them get out of pain as quickly as possible. They can go through the exercises, go to the next one, the next one after that. When they've completed their exercises for that day, they can notify you that they've been completed. And then they can also let you know what level of pain they were at when they actually completed that exercise. And I'll show you where that will be in just a minute. There's that notify the exercises are completed. And then go ahead and click on the level of pain. I'll show you where that's accessed. Um, the other things that your patient can do while they're in their app is they can take a look at their ADLs. So any videos or anything else associated with that. Condition information, same thing. They'll be able to view information about their condition. And then your clinic information so that they have access to your contact information at all times. All right, so that's the patient app. I'm going to go back into that uh, report that we just created and show you how you can customize a single report. Super easy. You can do whatever you need to get this a really personalized plan for your patient. Um, if you need to add in a secondary or tertiary diagnosis, that's perfectly fine. Whatever you need to do to cover um, all of the conditions that you want to get your patient some information on. Let's go ahead and pick this. And then everything for both conditions pre-populates. If there's something listed, though, that you're not going to do in office, you can take that off. You just click on the X. It'll go away. 
Same thing with your ADLs. If you need to add anything, you just click on the plus sign. You can pick what you'd like to add. Then for your exercises, you can add exercises in. You can edit an exercise for that patient by clicking on the little um, pencil, and then you'll be able to change sets and reps. If you want to get rid of an exercise, just trash it, and it'll go away. The patient won't even see it. You can also change your visit times that you want to for your patient. This can be preset, but you'll also be able to change it in the report, so that way each patient is going to get a personalized plan based on their condition, based on their pain, um, and how often you want to see them. Key exam findings you can add in. You can set goals for your patient. You can change these. And again, that percentage of improvement, that can be something that's preset as well, and you'll still be able to change it in the report. You can also uh, add in disability questionnaire scores. You can add in personalized messages to the patient, healthcare provider summary letter. Let's say that you want to send this maybe to um, an attorney or a coach or something like that, and you need to edit that out. Go ahead, just click on that preview summary and you can edit it wherever you would like. Um, and then you can send this off to the patient by printing it, you can email it. That save button that we used before allows you to go ahead and get a report created maybe before the patient comes in. And then while they're in their room, you can edit it or you can edit it later after you've seen them. But that's why you can go ahead, get it saved ahead of time. Your staff can even create that for you. And then you can come back and edit it later. So super easy to get those reports um, created and sent out to your patients. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the patient profile. So I'm going to click on my patient's name. Several things in their profile that you can do. This is their demographics page. Um, remember that I did enter in an email address. I entered in a Gmail. That's going to help you to automate those Google reviews. Uh, they'll get an initial opportunity with the Gmail, and then 30 days later on that survey, they rate you high enough, meaning you have a really satisfied patient. They'll get an opportunity to fill out that Google review on you, and then you can always re request a review right here um, on their profile page. Next, in their profile, you can take a look at their exercise history so you can see how compliant they are and hold them accountable so that they can get better. Um, exercise prescriptions, if you ever want to edit any exercises or update their exercise plan after you send a report out, you don't need to create a full new report. You can go into their exercise prescriptions. You can take out any exercises that you want to. You can edit them, whatever you need to do. Um, go ahead and update the plan. Click on save right here, and that will automatically update it in the patient's um, in their in the patient's exercises. That way, I just need to hit refresh here, and then that way you'll be able to see that their exercises get edited right away. All right, so the next time they go to log in, they'll be able to see that change. Okay, so um, under communication in your patient's profile, this is where you're going to be able to see if the patient has filled out any surveys for you, all of their answers on that survey, whether it's a disability questionnaire that you texted to them or whether it's that 30-day survey. You're also going to be able to see all of the reports that you've created for that patient so that when you're ready to release them from care, you can go into release report, put in the number of times that you saw that patient for their overall percentage of improvement, let's give them a 90%, and then generate that uh, release report. Now you've got a follow-up letter to send back to that healthcare provider, really solidifying you as an expert in the area, somebody that they would feel very comfortable sending their patients to. If you don't take advantage of any of the other marketing resources that we have in Cairo Up, do these initial and release reports. You're really going to see those referrals come through the door. This is also completely um, editable, so anything that you need to change in that report before you send it over, go ahead and do that, save it, and then uh, send it over to those physicians or any other healthcare providers um, that are involved with your patient's healthcare. All right, so we talked about how to create a report how to edit that report, how to look up protocols. Now I want to show you how you can edit some of the protocols on the back end and save your preferences. Okay, and here we go. Let's go ahead and edit some of the protocols. So we're in clinical skills. Under condition reference, I'm going to go ahead and click on the condition that I'd like to edit. 
Up in the upper right hand corner, you can click on that edit button. This will allow you to change the lay description if you would like to. Just treat it like any other Word doc. You can place your cursor and uh, wherever you need to edit it. Um, and then if you go into management, you'll be able to change any of the protocols that show up in your patient's report. Now the evaluations and the treatment techniques are on the back end. So any kind of reference that you want to look at in clinic uh, for what you would do in office, that would be those two. But on your patient report, will be the treatment descriptions, the ADLs, and the exercises. And you can edit this just like we did a single report, only now when you save it, it saves your protocols. So I took out modalities. Let's add acupuncture in. Uh, same thing for your ADLs. We'll go ahead and add in an ADL. There we go. And then the same thing for your exercises. Now what's important about doing any of these edits is that you click on that save button. The save button will allow you to save it only for yourself or for everybody in the clinic, um, depending on your user level, but uh, we can talk about those in a few minutes. But the save button, you have to click that or you're gonna lose any of the edits that you made. Um, the other things that you can do uh, in your clinical skills under condition reference is you can add any condition references that you would like. So if there's a protocol that you want to create, you can add it. So to differentiate, editing will allow you to either duplicate, duplicate that condition with your own protocols or strictly edit and override the original. Adding will allow you to create it from scratch. So if you want to stop the video now and take a look in your clinical skills, go ahead and log in and take a look at condition reference and see how that's done, go ahead. Um, but I'm going to keep on rolling so that way if you pause it, you can come back right away. Uh, we're also going to do some editing under the exercises, the ADLs, and the treatment descriptions. So anything that you need to do, if you need to add it in or if you need to edit it, it pretty much works the same way. You just click on the component that you would like to edit. Edit. Click right here on edit and then change the lay description. If you want to replace a file with your own video, your patients will have access to that video just like they have access to all of the other videos that are already in Cairo Up. You can do that. As I stated before, you can also just add in an exercise so you can start from scratch. And then anything that you add in, it'll show up in your list of choices. So let's say you put in Becky's new exercise and then you want to attach it to a few condition reports. Go ahead and do that. Add your exercise in, click on condition reference, find the condition that you want to add it to, add it to, and don't forget to hit that save button. Um, you can also do your ADLs or your treatment descriptions by adding new components in or editing them. If you have any questions on customizations, please let us know. I really wanted you to see what's available, what you can do in Cairo Up to really make it your own. Okay, um, under the admin section here, this is where you're going to find your healthcare providers that you'll be able to choose from when you're creating those initial and release reports. You can put anybody into this database that you would like. Like I said before, if it's an MD, you can even put your attorneys or coaches in here if you need to. Your provider statistics are based on that 30-day survey that automatically gets sent out to your patients. So let's talk quickly about clinical outcomes. How do you measure those? Cairo Up does that for you through that automated 30-day survey. It's four short questions. Ask them about their likelihood to refer, their level of improvement, some things like that so that you can really get a good idea of what your patients are saying about you. Your provider statistics will break down per provider what your patients are saying per condition. So it's an excellent way to really get a good idea of where you're having your best successes. Your clinic statistics will take into account all of the, provider, the providers that are in your office um, and really raise again, where you're having your best success is that. And keep in mind, your outcomes is really going to help you as a provider to improve, to uh, really market yourself as an excellent provider in your area. And that's automatically done for you. You don't have to do anything for those uh, surveys to go out or anything to see your results. The only thing that I would suggest is that you let your patients know that that survey is coming and ask them to fill it out for you. Let them know it really helps you as a provider to see what your patients are saying. Okay, also under the admin side here, uh, your patient access log and your condition report log are gonna be chronological orders of just that. Your patient access, any patients that have been accessed recently in your clinic, as well as a condition report log. This is just going to be a little nice uh, 
thing for you to be able to look at if you need to go back and finish a report or if you want to uh, start a report, what patient have you accessed lately? And that's just kind of an easy, quick way to see who you've been working on in the clinic um, recently. Okay, under, whoops, sorry, under practice resources, let's close that up. Under practice resources, so once you get some of that really good statistics back from your uh, can or from your 30-day surveys, you'll be able to plug those into our marketing campaigns. The medical physician marketing is an excellent game plan for you to take a look at to really market to MDs in your area. There uh, is a whole game plan laid out for you that you can follow. Cairo Up really wants to help you take anything off your shoulders that's taking time away from you being able to spend with your patients in that treatment room so that you're not having to come up with this all on your own. We've got it all laid out for you. Definitely take advantage of that. Even if you have a marketing person in your office, have them be able to have access to the marketing campaigns, to the forms library, so that they can use, these are all tools and resources for you to use to get that marketing done where you're not having to look for um, outside sources. Cairo Up has put together this library specifically for our subscribers we want to market the way that you treat your patients and that's why we've got it all in here for you so definitely take advantage of it under the forms library the exercise menu and condition menu is what we utilize to train staff uh, so that we can really help you to streamline how Cairo up works in your office business forms there is just a wealth of information in here if you have an office manager have that have your office manager take a look through all of these forms and see what you can use everything that's in Cairo up is customizable so if you're looking for something uh, that you need to have changed a little bit or if you just want to have your logo added onto it let us know send us a folder of what you'd like would like to have customized and we can do that for our subscribers under the clinical forms all of your impairment questionnaires are in here as well as uh, these patient handouts these are fantastic infographics for your patients, really great ways for them um, to kind of get some good education about uh, daily living even. You can post these, you can use these as printouts in your treatment rooms, you can attach them to condition reports. There's just a whole lot of things that you can do with it. Um, talk to your personal success manager about how you can really take advantage of these resources that are in here. Under the marketing tools, there's a large marketing sample library as well. So simple things like condition rack cards so that you don't have to hire somebody else to design these for you. We've got it. If your patient sees a condition rack card in your waiting room, who knew that a chiropractor treated arthritis? They know somebody with arthritis. They grab the condition rack card, hand it off. You've got a referral. It's as easy as that, but we know that that takes time for you to create. So we've done it for you. So let us know how we can customize those things for you as subscribers so that you can really jumpstart that marketing information. Um, under our help tab, we do have a help center. It's an excellent place for lots of frequently asked questions. You can do a search for what you're looking for, or you can click on any of these categories to learn more. But the most important thing about Cairo Up, you can email us, you can call us, you can chat with us online, whatever is the easiest way for you to get a hold of us. We want to ensure your success. So please feel free to reach out. We have live support for you all the time. And if you have any questions, get in contact with us ASAP. Have a great day.